So why is it that when you're hitting a full wedge shot, going uphill, your ball seems to spin more than when you are hitting it on a flat lie? Here's a little explanation that hopefully will clarify that for you. Here's my little golfer hitting a sand wedge or a wedge 90 meters at 8,800 RPM backspin. On a flat lie, as it goes through the sky, it starts to lose its revs. When it hits the green next to the flag, let's say for argument's sake, this discussion, it's spinning at 4,000 RPM, just enough to make that ball stop and not spin around too much and definitely not go backwards when it lands, if you've got receptive greens. Now, let's take this same golfer and now accept he's hitting the exact same shot, except instead of hitting it to a flat lie, he's hitting it uphill. So now, as the ball is traveling through the air, it's still losing its revolutions, but it's not hitting the ground down here at 4,000 like this one. It's now hitting the ground up here. So it, you would like to think that this ball is spinning a lot more because it's hitting the ground earlier than it would if it was on flat lie. So this may explain why when hitting uphill, pitch shots, wedge shots, that your ball might spin back more, particularly if you've got receptive greens, and even more so, if you're hitting to a green that has a slope like this from back to front, you should definitely take note of that also. That'll make the ball spin back a lot more. But particularly for this demonstration is here is when you're hitting the ball uphill, your ball will hit the ground a lot earlier, therefore have more spin, therefore stop quicker and possibly even backspin depending on the type of greens that you're playing on. So I hope that little demonstration makes sense and uh, helps some of you golfers understand why when you're hitting uphill, your ball stops quicker or comes back more than you'd like.